Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today we are talking about the common mistakes that people make when protective hairstyling. You have heard that protective styles are the key to better length retention so that your long hair goals can become a reality. Protective hairstyles are the best when it comes to preventing breakage and to retain as much length as possible when done correctly. These are the common mistakes that people make when they're protective styling trying to gain length. 1. Wearing micro braids or twists. Indeed, braids and twists are a great way to protect your hair against breakage, so they can be classified as a protective hairstyle. However, if the braids are too thin or there is added hair or extensions to the braids and the sections are very small, this may lead to a lot of weight on your actual hair and the braids pulling out your hair from the scalp, from the follicles, and that will lead to hair loss. Medium to jumbo braids are the best, especially if the sections are also the appropriate size when it comes to protective styling for length retention and for stopping breakage. Number two, having the hair done very tight. Tight hairstyles do not lead to fast hair growth, people. In fact, you may lose hair from the roots, like your hair can actually pull from your roots. And if you keep on doing that, it may lead to permanent hair loss, also called traction alopecia. So make sure your protective hairstyles are not too tight. There is no hairstyle that is worth losing hair over. Three, staying with a protective hairstyle for too long. Our strands have a tendency to coil into each other and over time, the bond they form becomes very difficult to pull apart. And when you add dust, lint and products to that mix, you end up with a lot of product buildup. And if you stay for too long with that situation, the tangles may be very difficult for you to pull apart. So make sure you don't stay with your protective cell for too long. Eight weeks max. Number four, not taking care of your scalp, especially when wearing wigs and so in hair. Your scalp still needs to be clean and moisturized even when you have a protective style in. A lot of people neglect the scalp, thinking that as long as they look nice and neat on the outside, their actual hair and their scalp doesn't need to be taken care of, which is a mistake. You need to still take care of your hair and your scalp when in a protective style, especially when wearing wigs and so in wigs. So make sure that you've got a healthy scalp that grows healthy hair and you can get rid of any scalp issues. Number five, not moisturizing the length of the hair when in braids or in cornrows with extension. Hear me out. When you're in braids and extensions, there is no need for you to moisturize the whole length of the extension. But the length of your hair, on the other hand, still needs to be moisturized. That way, you're going to prevent a lot of dryness because if your hair becomes too dry, then you're going to have split ends and you're going to have breakage as well. So make sure you moisturize your hair, even when you're in a protective style with extensions in, like the whole length of your hair needs to be moisturized every two to three days. But if you live in a dry climate that is as dry as where I live, then you need to moisturize your hair every single day. To make sure Number six, not detangling the hair well on tape down. After six to eight weeks, there will always be a lot of shed hair to take out and a lot of tangles to deal with. Washing your hair or shampooing your hair before you take out those tangles and those shed hairs that are locked into your hair will lead to more tangling and they'll be very difficult for you to deal with or to take out without causing unnecessary breakage. Always detangle the hair before washing it with appropriate products, of course, to make sure that there is enough sleep to deal with the tangles and to pull out any shed hairs that may be locked in your hair. That is very important so that you don't get any unnecessary breakage, which is going to derail all the length that you had retained during the time that your hair was in a protective style. So, if that protective hairstyle is for healthier hair and length retention, make sure you don't make these common mistakes. Here is to happy hair growing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you. Bye.